Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the cabin beanie, which you can see here in the photo and there's several other photos on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. This is my sample one here. This is the cabin beanie. Uh, it has a uh, very, well not very, a slightly slouchy this to it so it's not snug fitting you can of course make it more snug fitting and less slouchy uh, if you shorten the height I'm just gonna pull it back here for you this is a wonderful beanie it's very comfortable to wear it's made with a DK light wars uh, lightweight yarn and I'm using the felted tweed yarn by Rowan yarns it is a wool alpaca blend yarn and uh, again, this is it here. My sample one was worked using the colors uh, duck egg and bottle green. And uh, today I'm going to be working in two slightly different colors for you, the video. You're also going to need, uh, so you're going to, sorry, I'll go back. You're going to need two balls in uh, one of each color to complete the project. You won't use all of each of the balls but it's good to have on hand just in case. Um, each of these balls of yarn has about 191 yards in it. You're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and uh, then of course a yarn needle and pair of scissors for finishing it off. Now um, the free written instructions for this pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll provide the direct link to the written pattern as well as the yarn and hooks in the uh, description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many many other crochet beanies here on this channel and uh, if you happen to make it I, again I invite you as always to share it with me. Tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media so that I can come and admire it. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. As we get started, a couple more things to note. This beanie is uh, worked in around from the bottom up and it is sized to fit an adult head. So with a 20 to 22, 23 inch circumference, uh, approximately it's 9.75 inches tall and 10 inches wide when it's laid flat. So we're going to start by making a slip knot with our color A and then by working a foundation chain of 90 stitches, 90 single crochet stitches. Uh, so if you'd like to work a foundation single crochet round you're welcome to as well. So we're going to make 90 chains and once you have your 90 chains you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you will need a multiple of two stitches. For the adult size, we're going to chain 90. So once you have your 90 chains worked, without twisting that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Now we're, when working this beanie, I prefer to work in the back bumps of my stitches. It's completely up to you. Once you've joined to make a ring, you're then going to chain one, continue working in the same direction. You will not turn for this pattern. At the end of each round, you're always going to work in the same direction. You're going to work a single crochet into that first chain and then single crochet into each chain all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you come all the way around, at the end of round one, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You should have 90 single crochet stitches. For round two, you're going to chain one now working in the back loop only single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have these two loops. The back loop only is the one that is the furthest away from you. So working under that loop only, single crochet into the first stitch and then into each stitch 
all the way around. When you come to the first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch working under both loops. I'll show you that when you come around and uh, you're then going to repeat this round two more times. Once you come all the way around at the end of round two, join with a slip stitch. You can join under both loops and chain one. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we're going to continue working in the same direction. And for your next two rounds, rounds three and four, we're going to repeat round two. So single crochet, work in the, in the back loop only in that same stitches joining. And then in each stitch, all the way around, join with the slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one and repeat. In total, you'll have four rounds of single crochet stitches. Three of those rounds will have been worked in the back loop only. And then you can meet me back here at the end of round four. At the end of round four, this is what your work should look like. For round five, we're going to continue working in our color A for a little bit longer. You're going to start by chaining four. And this chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one space. You're then going to skip the next stitch. So you have your chain four coming out of the same stitch as joining. Skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. We're now working under both loops. You're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around, ending with a chain one, skip one, and uh, join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. When you come around at the end of your round five, you've chained one, skip one, join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. And at this time, we're going to want to switch to our color B. And there's a few ways you can do this. We're also going to be slip stitching into our chain one space for round six. So you can either chain, uh, switch to your color B here or if you'd like just insert your hook into that chain one space, attach your color B if you wanna use a slip stitch there, you can as well. And then we're going to chain one. While working this pattern, I left my colors attached and I'm going to carry them up as I go. So we're just going to leave our color A attached and hanging down on the inside of our hat. Once you have chained one, we're going to start round six using our color B. And you're going to start by working a long double crochet over top of the chain one space and into the skipped stitch two rows below. So yarn over, insert your hook over that chain one space into the skipped single crochet two rows below, insert your hook, yarn over, draw your stitch up to the height of maybe half double crochet or double crochet, uh, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's your long double crochet. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and once again, working over that chain one space and into the stitch two rows below, work a double crochet stitch all the way down. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next stitch, into the skip stitch two rows below, work a long double crochet all the way around. Chain one, skip one, long double crochet. When you come back to your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch.
at the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to slip stitch into that first chain one space. This time, once again, picking up your color B, placing it on your hook, and pulling through. You're then going to chain one in your color B, and just as you did before, start by working a long double crochet over top of this chain one space and into the top of the stitch two rows below. So this time we're working into the tops of our long double crochet stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, working over top of the chain one space, insert your hook into the top of the double crochet two rows below, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and repeat. Repeat that all the way around, joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round seven, we're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, slip stitch into your chain one space and switch back over to your color B, chain one, and now you're going to repeat round six and seven for a total of nine times. So working your in your color B, your long double crochet into that first uh, skip stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, and so forth. So you're going to repeat round six and seven nine times. This will bring you to the end of round 25. And then you can meet me back here and we will start the decrease for the top of our hat. Once you have worked through to round 25, uh, you will have your hat that looks like this, and you're then ready to begin the decrease rounds. So with round 26, we're going to switch to our color, back to our color A. With your color A, you're going to slip stitch into that chain one space and chain one. We're now going to work a long double crochet into the top of the stitch two rows below and chain one. You want, and then skip the next stitch. You want to do this a total of seven times. So there's one and then repeat long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below chain one, skip the next stitch, long double crochet, there's three, four, five, six and seven and chain one. Once you have your seven stitches, your next stitch is going to be a long double crochet two together, working into those two skip stitches over those chain one spaces. So into the stitches again, two rows below. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next skip stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, skip the next stitch and into the next skipped stitch, two rows below, insert your hook, working over that chain one space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. So chain one, 
into your next skip stitch two rows below long double crochet and chain one do that a total of seven times and then your long double crochet two together repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch at the end of round 26 you're switching back to your color B chain one slip stitch into your first chain one space we're now going to repeat round 26 for round 27 so you're going to long double crochet into that skipped stitch two rows below and chain one do that a total of seven times so there's one two three four five six and seven you're then going to work your long double crochet two together this time when you work it I'm just going to untangle my yarn here there we go uh, this time when you work it you're going to work in the two skipped stitches two rows below working the first leg of your double crochet two together in between uh, the two legs of your previous double crochet two together so I'm just inserting my hook still into that skip stitch yarning over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two then yarn over and pull through all three okay so you want to make sure you're working in between those two legs of your double crochet two together chain one and you're now going to repeat long double crochet in the next skip stitch chain one do that a total of seven times followed by your long double crochet two together repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch for round 28 with our color a you've slip stitched into your chain one space you're going to chain one work a long double crochet into the stitch skip stitch two rows below and chain one repeat that five more times skip the next long double crochet into the next skip stitch long double crochet followed by a chain one you would like to have a total of six long double crochet stitches here so there's four five and six you're then going to work a long double crochet chain one and work a long double crochet two together this time when you're working your stitch you're going to see that you have a long double crochet two together two rows below and then one here and then your next stitch so we're working first into the top of the long double crochet two rows below yarn over insert your hook yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two then skip the next stitch complete your stitch in the next skipped stitch which is a long double crochet two rows below chain one and repeat long double crochet in the next skip stitch two rows below chain one repeat that five more times so you have a total of six you're then going to work a long double crochet two together first into the top of the long double crochet two together down below two rows below skip the next double crochet two together and then into the next skip stitch chain one and repeat all the way around changing back to your color B in that final stitch and uh, joining with a slip stitch 
into the first. With round 29, we're going to slip stitch into our chain one space and chain one, you're using your color B. We're now going to long double crochet. We're essentially repeating round 28. So we're long double crocheting into that first skip stitch, two rows below, chain one, repeat that five more times into each of the skip stitches. So there's chain one for two, long double crochet, chain one for three, four, five, and six. You're going to work a long double crochet two together. This time your skip stitch is in between the two legs of the next long double crochet stitch. So you're going to insert your hook first into that skip stitch underneath, down below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two and then long double crochet into the next skip stitch. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet into the next skip stitch, two rows below, chain one, repeat that five more times. Then long, dub, uh, long double crochet two together, working into first that stitch down in between the legs of the next long double crochet two together, and then into the next skip stitch. Chain one and repeat. Continue all the way around, switching back to your color A in that final stitch, and join with a slip stitch into the first. For round 30, you're working in your color A, slip stitch into that first chain one space, chain one, work a long double crochet into the stitch two rows below, and chain one. Repeat that four more times, so we want a total of five long double crochet. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch two rows below, chain one, repeat. There's three. four, and five. You're then going to work a long double crochet two together, working into the two together down below, two stitches, uh, two rows down below to begin, and then skipping the stitch and into the next skip stitch, two rows below. Chain one. You're now going to repeat. Long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below, chain one. Do that a total of five times. And then long double crochet two stitches together. Chain one and repeat. Switch back to your color B in your final stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round 31, slip stitch into that first chain one space using your color B and chain one. We're now going to repeat our round 30, long double crochet into that first skip stitch, chain one, repeat that for a total of five times. So there's one, long double crochet in the next skip stitch, two rows below, 
chain one, there's two, three, four, and five, chain one, double crochet, two together, this time working once again in between the two legs of the next double crochet two together into the skip stitch down below for the first part and then into the next skip stitch two rows below for the second part of the two together. Chain one, we're going to repeat long double crochet into the next skip stitch. Chain one, do that a total of five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet, two together, working into the next two skipped stitches. Repeat that all the way around, chain one. Repeat all the way around and switch back to your color A, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For round 32 with your color A, slip stitch into that first chain one space and chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet into the first skip stitch two rows below and chain one. Repeat that three more times. So long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below and chain one. Repeat. You'll have a total of four long double crochet two togethers, chain one, or sorry, four long double crochets, chain one, and now work a long double crochet two together, working the first leg into the top of the long double crochet two together, two rows below, and the second leg into the next skip stitch, two rows below. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch two rows below, chain one, do that four times. And then long double crochet two stitches together over the next two skip stitches two rows below. Chain one, repeat all the way around, switching back to your color B in that final stitch and joining with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For round 33 with your color B, slip stitch into that chain one space, chain one. We're going to work a long double crochet into that first skip stitch and chain one. Repeat that three more times. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch, chain one. Followed by a long double crochet two together, working into the skip stitch between the two legs of the previous long double crochet two together to begin with and then into the next skipped stitch two rows below. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch two rows below, chain one, repeat that three more times. So you have a total of four And then long double crochet two stitches together, working in between first the legs of the next stitch and then into the next skip stitch two rows below. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, switching back to your color A.
for round 34 with your color A, slip stitch into that chain one space, chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet into the skip stitch two uh, rows rounds below. Chain one, repeat that twice more into the next skip stitch two rows below, long double crochet, chain one, long double crochet, and chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Skip stitches two rows below. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below. Chain one, do that a total of three times. And then long double crochet, two stitches together. And chain one. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, switching back to your color B. For round 35, slip stitch into that chain one space with your color B and chain one. We're going to repeat our round 34 now in our new color. Long double crochet into the skip stitch two rows below and chain one. Repeat that two more times. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch. Chain one. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch two rows below and chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet two together, this time once again working into that skipped long double crochet two together, two rows below in between the legs of uh, this next long double crochet two together. So there's the first leg and then work your second part into the next skip stitch and complete. Chain one and repeat long double crochet in the next skip stitch, chain one, do that a total of three times, and then long double crochet, two stitches together. Chain one and repeat all the way around switching back to your color A in your uh, final stitch and joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 36 with your color A, slip stitch into your chain one space and chain one. We're now going to work a long double crochet into that same uh, space, over that same space into the skip stitch two rows below and chain one, repeat that one more time in the next stitch and chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet, two stitches together. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet in the next skip stitch, two rows below, chain one, repeat that one more time and then work chain one and long double crochet, two stitches together. Chain one, repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, switching back to your color B. For round 37, we're going to repeat our round 36 working a long double crochet into that first skip stitch two rows below and chain one. Long double crochet in the next stitch and chain one. Work a long double crochet two together over the next two skip stitches two rows below. Chain one and repeat. Long double crochet chain one, long double crochet, chain 
chain one and long double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, switching back to your color A when you join with a slip stitch into your final stitch. For round 38 with your color A, slip stitch into that first chain one space and chain one. You're then going to work a long double crochet into that first skip stitch, chain one, and then work a long double crochet two together over the next uh, two skip stitches, two rows below. Chain one and repeat long double crochet into your next stitch, chain one and long double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, switching back to your color B. For round 39, we're going to repeat our round 38 using our color B, beginning with a long double crochet in that first skipped stitch, chain one, and then long double crochet two stitches together. chain one and repeat. Long double crochet into the next skip stitch, chain one and long double crochet two stitches together. Continue all the way around switching back to your color A as you join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round 39. You can fasten off your color B, slip stitch into your chain one space using your color A and chain one. We're then going to work long double crochet two togethers in each stitch all the way around. So we're continuing to work into our skip stitches two rows be rounds below and uh, working long double crochets two together using our color A. There's no chain ones in between. You're simply working the two together stitches all the way around. I'm going to continue working. just into each of those skip stitches. When you come all the way around, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to fasten off that color A, leaving a little bit of a long tail. We're now going to use that long tail to sew the top of our hat closed. So taking a yarn needle, turn your beanie so that it is inside out, pulling your long tail through to the inside. You're then going to take your yarn needle thread that long tail through and to close the top we're simply going to weave in and out through the stitches in that final round. So I'm just going around the top weaving in and out
You're then going to pull the top of your hat closed. There shouldn't be too much of an opening there. And you're going to secure it. Now for mine, I do like to just add a little bit of a knot before I go ahead and weave in those ends. Turn your beanie right side out. Go ahead and weave in any other ends that you have. The beanie does not need a pom-pom if you wish up at the top, but it is completely up to you. And then your cabin beanie is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. If you happen to make the cabin beanie, be sure to tag me on social media. Ridge Textures Crochet, and I would love to come and admire it. Say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again next time for another great crochet beanie pattern. Thank you so much. See you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.